Hmm, I don't know. I mean, the mushroom soup definitely was tasty, but look at this bowl. Like, who cooks their mushroom soup in this? How could it be anything other than absolutely delicious and fantastic when you have this kind of presentation? I really like it. Siri, do you want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Sure. Which Pokemon do you want to give Max Soup to? Uh, Dree? I'm pretty sure he'd like it. If this Inteleon, which is Dree, drinks Max Soup, it'll become capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Soup, uh, Max Mushrooms to make Max Soup. Is that all right? Um, I mean, of course, I guess. Let's go ahead and let Dree have, like, that food. All right, Dree is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Thanks, dude. All right, Dree, like, is anything different with him? I definitely need to see what happens if we go ahead and Gigantamax. Because we didn't even have to. Look at him! We didn't even have to Gigantamax last time. Or Dynamax. Or do anything. Um, and I wonder how that makes him different. Okay, Dre, Hang in there. We're going to figure it out. But maybe we'll see what the mystical, like, master mustard mushroom soup is going to do for him soon. But all right, guys. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, where we are here on the Isle of Armor. Yeah. Hey, don't judge me, dude. I saw that side eye. Uh, we're here on the Isle of Armor, following Dre along as he tries to become the best fighter that he possibly can. And we thought we would have a little bit of a competition while we were here on the Isle of Armor, but instead we ended up sweeping the floor with Clara. Uh, yeah, how you doing, sweetie? Still feeling the burn? One day, I'd like to be strong like you. I do like her, she's so sassy. But all right, Master Mustard, anything else for my wonderful Dree to know before we carry on our adventures? And if you're not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. Uh, with Octavia, who I freaking love, who is still clinging to Dree. Nalu, who is our beautiful Alolan Vulpix. I definitely want to find more Diglett to get more of those Alolan animals. Shell, who is our really adorable Galarian uh, Slowpoke. Princess, who is our normal type Slowpoke. And our wonderful Ivysaur, who does not yet have a name. But I definitely am taking some name suggestions from you guys. He's a sassy boy, and I he was raised by Slowpoke. And I would love for his name to reflect that he... Like, Slow Leaf? <gasps> I want to name him Slow Leaf because he was raised by Slowpoke. I love that idea. You're now Slow Leaf. Okay, we're totally going to name him Slow Leaf now. This is perfect. But for now, Dree, Mastered Mustard has some words for you. Ah, there you are, Siri. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Oh, what's it gonna be? Now then, come on out! <gasps> it's a Pokemon! I was expecting an outfit! Oh, look at his pouty face! Oh, you're a little pouty guy! Heckin'! Oh, he's precious! He's tiny! He's small! He can kick! Look at him! He's got the moves! He's got the pouts! Ah, you're adorable! Come here, you. Oh, he looks so fierce. Oh my gosh. Like, poo? Like, like, P-O-U? Or Poi? I kind of want to name him Poi. This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kabufu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But... Raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential, but problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. It's another little brother for Dree! So I was thinking, Siri. Maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a bit. So take good care of Kabufu, okay? It's in your hands now. Come here. B Bear Ma, aww. I kind of want to name him, like, Pooh. P O U. Because he kind of is pouting. Also, Pooh Bear. He's so nervous. I wish I had some super treat to give him. Hi, buddy. You don't need to be so nervous. If you like becoming stronger, Dree will totally help you with that. 
It must be really scary just to be like given away to somebody. So I totally understand where he's coming from. Kabufu! Kabufu, the Wushu Pokemon, a fighting type. Two feet high, about 26 pounds. Kabufu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. What? That's adorable. I mean, I don't know like the personality and I don't know the gender of this Kabufu yet. So I want to learn before we do that. Um, and who should we put away? Hmm. I really like Shell. I really like Princess. I know that you guys really love Nalu, and Octavia is stuck to Dree. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put Princess away for now. And we're going to let Pokemon, the Princess, keep her King's Rock, and we're gonna have little Kabufu come. Now then, the first thing for you to do is to become best friends with Kabufu. You need to build trust. Kabufu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so. Maybe it'll help you become better friends if you ha let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of Armor Isle. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know! I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokémon out of its Pokéball here and on the Isle of Armor! <gasps> You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Kabufu, why don't you? Once you're best buddies, we'll start Kabufu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. <gasps> so the point is to become best friends and not just strong. Heckin? Hi, little one. That is so cute, you guys. Let's learn more about Poo, a male. Our little Kabufu. So, let's see. Inner focus, the Pokemon's intensely focused, and that protects the Pokemon from flinching. It knows Leer, Endure, Focus Energy, and Rock Smash. It's impish and mischievous. So, he is going to be up to all sorts of trouble. Oh my gosh. Pooh, you're going to be a little bit of a handful, I can tell. Alright, we're going to go ahead and swap him with Dree for just a second, so we can try walking him around. Meanwhile, Dree is trying to get Octavia off in the background. Um, and become friendly with Kabufu and show it to Master Mustard. All right! How the heck can I take it on a stroll? Is it just gonna be like whoever is at the front? Or, Kabufu, restore, held, swap. I wanna, I wanna stroll with you, friend. Oh, there you are! Oh my gosh! Oh, he's so cute! So yeah, it's just like whoever is first up is going to follow us around. Oh, you guys, that's so cute! I love it! Alright, let's 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 walk around together, little friend. We could do a little exploring. It sounds like there's some loose keys. There's the loose keys down there. There's some little Jigglypuff. Heckin'? I bet there's like a- oh, look, there's a Pokeball back here. We can go treasure hunting with our little friend. There's Focus Blast. That absolutely sounds like something I would expect to find behind a dojo. The user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its power. This may also lo lower the target's special defense. Kabufu! That is not my Kabufu! Come on, little guy! Oh, he's so freaking cute. He's so small! If we ran around with Dree, would we be running faster, I wonder? This is a tree where Pokemon hoard their food? <gasps> A Koba Berry fell down! I feel bad! That's different from just saying that there's a tree with a lot of berries on it. Now I feel like I'm stealing from, like, some poor Squivet's little, little, a black apricorn and a Koda Berry. Um, I think I'm good there. Heckin! Koda Berries, Oka Berries, Pasho Berries, black apricorn. I feel like I stole something from some poor Squivet who just wanted their dinner. Um, all right, more treasure over here. A bottle of HP up, a nutritious drink for Pokemon. When consumed, it raises the HP base point of a single Pokemon. Excellent! Meanwhile, we've got a little bit of energy from here. I guess we can go walking with Kabufu. Hi! All right, we could, we could try to walk around a little bit. I wanna look for more Diglett. Let's try looking for more Diglett and then maybe we can get into like a big battle. 
Will Kabufu become friendlier with us if we have a big battle that includes, say... I don't know, I feel like I'm out ran uh, running it? No, he's following along. Alright. You know, I, I, I feel badly if we go too fast, and if I get in my bike, like, then what happens? Alright, we'll gather up that energy. Any Diglett over here? Oh, hey! Hey, it's some shiny keys! Let's get them! Come here. Alright, this is a good experiment. So this is a wild, uh, Kleeflik. Hi, Kabufu! He was already out, so he didn't need to come out of his Pokeball! That was so cute! Oh, and now this guy's mad. He definitely is extremely sassy. Alright, that's not as effective as I would hope, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Alright, Rock Smash. <gasps> he can't use the same move in a row due to, tur like, Torment? Okay, let's let's Glower. Oh no, the keys- Ah! That actually really hurt him! I was gonna be like, oh no, the keys hurt us, but we actually really got hurt by that. And then I think if we catch this, this, like, female Clifique, I don't know how keys can be- Ah! Oh no! Super effective! Don't mess with fairy types, fighting types! Oh dear. Alright, well that's a little embarrassing. Uh, let's go ahead and let's have Ivysaur pop out. This is not going to be very effective. I don't know why I did that. I just was thinking that I wanted to see what Soul Leaf could do. Uh, let's try Sleep Powder. Alright, there you go, Slow Leaf. Nice! All right, and I guess we don't want to be like super effective because I do want to come on in. Uh, let's try Grassy Glide. Slide on his little tummy like a slope of wood. Schmack. That was nice. Okay. Meanwhile, that, that one's fast asleep. Can we do a Razor Leaf? And then maybe catch it? it how do you avoid the attack when you are sound asleep? I, I think that was probably on Slow Leaf's head. All right, there we go. Yes, yes, oh, good job. Good, 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 good job, Slow Leaf. I am so proud of you. Heckin', we managed to get that done just fine. Let's go ahead, we can use all the great balls we want now because we have so many watts. We never have to worry about like normal itty bitty baby Pokeballs again. Yay! I think we get some watts from that. And I think that when they're shiny, shiny, like, they're not shiny Pokemon, but when they're, uh, sparky, I should say. I think that works out well for us. Wait, who wants to learn Brick Break? Octavia? The user attacks with a swift chop. It can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. Okay, that sounds kind of amazing. Um, the hits, uh, this attack hits a target using a move such as protect or deflect. Hmm... Bind. Hmm. I like how Octavia is learning how to like choppy choppy with all of her little eight legs. She sounds pretty tough. And Nalui is doing- oh Nalui! Nalui learned from that fairy wind. She learned ice wind. The user attacks with a gust of chilled ice. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let's replace disable with that. And we'll just have her be a specialist. There we go. Excellent! Yay! Except for the fact that our little one <laughs> ended up fainting. Uh, I would like to see this this one's summary. Okay. Prankster gives priority to a status move. It's docile and takes plenty of siestas, so it just wanted to go back to sleep. Also, switcheroo! What is that? The user trades items, held items with the target faster than the eye can follow. <gasps> that sounds so cool! Alright, let's go ahead and send off to a box. Yay! Did we get some watts from that? Yeah, we got some watts from that. Also, hi Octavia. I guess we finally got Octavia off of um, Dre. But now that we have figured out that like poor Kabufu has fainted, let's let's use our revive because I feel badly. <laughs> he literally just got here. There you go, Kabufu. Very sorry. Very sorry about that. It's literally nothing personal. You're just an itty bitty one. Um, let's give him some Moo Moo Milk. Well, no, he does not need Moo Moo Milk. Let's give him a potion. He's just so small, you guys! Here, we're gonna let Dree go ahead and show him how it's done. 
I think Kabufu is shy. He has no idea what's going on. We're gonna let Dree show him how it's done. All right, Dree, my boy. Dree, you have you have gotten so big! I am so proud of you. All right, Dree, I don't know if you can keep up. Oh my gosh, he can. That is so cool! But all right, friends, let's set off for further afield where we can go ahead and adventure on the Isle of Armor. We have got the soothing wetlands. Um, we've also got something being really fancy and shiny over there. And let's actually check out the map. We have more to explore. Oh, look at that! You can actually see where we're supposed to go next. Heckin'! So Challenge Road. We've also got Brawler's Cave. Pop bot oh, Pop Bottom Desert has something going on in it. And we've also got Loop Lagoon. Heck, this is so cool. Diggin' Paw is hanging over at the training lowlands too. All right, so we've got Kabufu with us. Definitely gonna name him Pooh, P-O-U. Oh, really? I would rather not, Wooper. Oh, that's so cool how Dree just gets to stay out with me and like we're running along side by side. Okay, come on. Look, we're gonna very- this is just to scooch him out of the way. What? Literally the whooper just absorbed all of it and smacked Dree back. You two, this is ridiculous. We're done with this. We're not doing this. You need to learn how to use our strength uh, very wisely after all, friends. We cannot merely- oh geez, I thought something was attacking me and it was literally just Dree running up behind me. We cannot go smacking around every poor little whooper who pops by us. Also, what the heck is going on over here? Alright. Alright. A ground and dark type. Um, I'm kind of curious. You know what? Dree needs a good challenge. He has not had a chance to, like, Gigantamax or do anything like that for a long time. Let's do this. I don't even know what we're fighting. A sand dial! Or excuse me, a crow Korok. Who probably jumped out of the water. Ah, oh, I love that idea. He probably like leapt out of the water to go ahead and try to fight us. And let's let's do this. Let's Dynamax. And then let's see. G-Max Hydra Snipe. Whoa! Gigantamax move. Okay. Or G-Max Flutterby. Let's try the, the Hydro Snipe. Because it's been a long time since Dree has been able to really stretch and see how strong he's become. He's full of that delicious Max soup. Let's do this! <gasps> Dree, I think you look a little different now. I don't remember you doing this before. I don't remember your eyes looking like this. I don't remember anything about Dree looking like this before. And there's just literally a kid with an Eevee down there. I... What? Okay, this is this is the kind of strength and power that he really wanted to have. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think that Dree has, has actually gained some strength. Uh... There goes that anchor. <gasps> wow! I think Dree has gained some strength and Dree, uh, oh, down, down it goes. We're sunk! He's definitely learned something and this is definitely new. Uh, Dree did not look like this before. So now he can basically go up and just become a sniper. I'm kind of amazed. I had no idea this is what we were going to get into or look like. I have no idea if we're actually going to- Oh, hey, we got helping hand, I guess? Evie's gonna help us, apparently. Sure, Evie. I'm sure that Dree's gonna notice. Oh. My. Gosh. Like, Dree is literally not even noticing any of this. This is amazing! The barrier is now broken. I really think that Dree has become extremely strong. Okay, now we gotta throw a Pokeball? Okay! We'll do our best! Fuel Ball, Great Ball, Net Ball, Lure Ball, Dusk Ball, Premier Ball, I mean, Ultra Ball, I guess? There we go! <laughs> Let's try! I have no idea what kind of strength we could get from this guy. 
I still don't understand gigamaxing, let alone like gigantamaxing. <laughs> so the fact that Dream was able to do that and looks so different now is kind of blowing my mind. And let's see if he managed to tell this chompy guy who tried to lunge out of the swamp and eat me. Let's see if we told him off. <gasps> we did it! Kokoro was caught. Oh my word. We've got some candies, Dynamax candies. We got the Armorite ore, Wiki Berries, Tomato Berries, Darkest Laranite, and Nasty Plot. What the heck? I love it. And the Amorite ore is definitely going to help us out quite a bit too. Heck, that was fun. Dree, you're like literally unstoppable right now. I don't even know what to say, buddy. The Desert Croc Pokemon. Specialized eyes that enable it to see in the dark. This ability lets Croc Rock hunt in the dead of night without getting lost. So he tried to eat me! He tried to eat me while we were just strolling along, minding our own business. Alright, let's see his personality. Alright, oh, it's a female! And she's got Anger Point. This Pokemon is angered when it takes a critical hit, and that makes its attack stat. And that maxes its attack stat. Holy cow. Uh, it knows bite, foul play, dig, and crunch. It's naive and capable of taking hits. So I think she was just like in the wrong place at the wrong time. Pretty awesome. All right, well guys, Dree, what the heck? You're amazing. I did not expect that from Dree. He has definitely changed quite a bit. He's feeling pretty good. And I want to be able to give him a proper challenge. I feel like we really haven't found one. So we're going to carry on exploring the Isle of Armor, hopefully doing what we can to encourage his new friend, Boo. Uh, and we'll rename Ivysaur to Slowleaf because I think that's totally perfect for him. And prepare ourselves for whatever adventures linger ahead. And you know what? If mushrooms can do that, I think it may just about finally be time, friends. To return ourselves all the way back over, finally, to the mushroom forest of Glimwood Tangle. So we might have to go through Glimwood Tangle finally and push our way all the way through the adventures that we might be able to stumble on elsewhere in Pokemon Sword and Shield with Dree. Uh, also, so we can upgrade our bike and actually go on the water and explore the Isle of Armor even more. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Dree's amazing performance there. He has grown up so well. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, including help me find all these Diglett, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.